There's an abundance of headlines suggesting that acrylamide in our food is bad for us and causes cancer. Many popped up after 2002 when the Swedish National Food Administration sounded a so-called alarm on the presence of acrylamide within food. Despite the concerns raised by that announcement over 20 years ago, there's simply not enough quality evidence, at least in humans, to directly support acrylamide causing cancer. This could be for a multitude of reasons. The first being that there's been some difficulty in figuring out how much acrylamide people are taking in based on their reported diets. Then there's the matter of ethical boundaries, as to be able to really say that this causes cancer, you need to do clinical trials, but you can't do clinical trials with things that are possible carcinogens. That being said, there's enough animal evidence that some authoritative bodies believe it warrants further investigation. For example, in studies of rats, there's been evidence to suggest that acrylamide can lead to DNA or chromosomal damage, and defects in the repair of that damage, common features that can lead to cancer. However, there have also been some toxicology studies that show humans and rodents both absorb acrylamide at different rates and metabolize it differently, so the animal findings don't necessarily translate to us. 